G'day. Expectations may be toxic, but they're also foundational. G'day. 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 Now, I'm a big fan of just about everything Gary Vaynerchuk says, but there's one thing that he said that always didn't quite sit right with me, and that is this idea of having zero expectations. Gary's thesis is that if you have zero expectations, then you're never going to be disappointed and you'll never be beholden to anybody and therefore you're always going to have the leverage. Now, I get that, it makes sense to me, and logically it makes perfect sense, it's right. But in practical terms, there's something that doesn't quite sit right with it and I think I've just worked out what it is. The problem is that expectations are foundational. From a very early age, we expect that if we cry long enough and hard enough, we're either going to get our nappy changed or we're going to get some food, one or the other. We learn that if we are good, we can expect Santa Claus to come at Christmas time. And this expectation continues throughout our life. We expect things to happen. We have an expectation that people will do what they say. We have an expectation when we buy a product or a service, it will deliver certain benefits. And that to me makes this idea of having zero expectations not only unrealistic, but almost even dangerous to society. I think in a way, society fails if we start to have zero expectations on people, on, on things, on products. So for me, the key to happiness is not having zero expectations. The key is holding those expectations, but then learning to deal with your disappointment when people fail to deliver on those expectations. That's my slant. Anyway, what's yours? Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alrighty, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya.